I said, when he was in Gethsemane, he was going to take on the sins of the world, all I was seeing, what you're still doing now. And he said, Father, if it's possible, can you let this cup pass? I don't start looking at y'all and say, God, if it's possible, can you let these people pass? Because the mind of the people is not to be sanctified. The mind of these people is not to stop sinning. No matter what you preach, no matter how much you care about it, your mind is not to stop sinning. And that's why people don't want to come to this church, because this church is talking about being born again. This church is talking about being sanctified. That's too much truth for the world. Because the world got a lot of good advertisement. And we want it. Separating the sheep from the goat. How do a message like this come at this time? With this message. He already don't made a separation. You're, you can sit in him and y'all can act like y'all anointed. You can act like y'all, you know, like the first song. What's the first song was? He could have, but he pulled you out, and you still went back to your fool. He asked you to be holy. Y'all sung it. You can't be holy if you ain't fully committed. And y'all ain't fully committed. The churches are full today. They are not fully committed. They are not looking for holiness. And y'all don't want nobody saying none of y'all children, even though the love that we don't show. This is why this ministry ain't filling up, because we ain't fool. Leviticus. And that ain't my introduction. Can I ask y'all the question to plunder in y'all mind? What is saying? Y'all just hold that to your thought. That's why we got a problem. Yeah. We don't know what it is. The vigor of the 11th chapter, beginning at the 41st verse, going to 11 and 45 and then 47. And after you read the scripture along with me, you can shut that. Shut the Bible. And I'll take it from there. Trust me if you can. Leviticus 11 and 44 said, For I am the Lord your God. Ye shall therefore sanctify yourself, and you shall be holy. For I am holy. Neither shall you defile yourself with any manner of creeping thing that creep upon the earth. For I am the Lord that bring you up out of the land of Egypt to be your God. And you shall therefore be holy. For I am holy, 47 verse said, to make different between unclean and clean and between the beast that may be eaten and the beast that may not be eaten. Oh, Heavenly Father in Jesus. God, you got to take me through this one. Because your people, not my people, your people, in this church, do not want to do what your leaders say. Do not want to do what your call apostles say. And when they switch out and go other places, they change from what they say they believe in. God, but sanctify me through this. Make me holy through this. Make me totally listen to your voice. And not mine or not the devil. But God, let me preach this how you give it to me. And God, we forever give you the praise. We'll give you the thanks. In your son Jesus' name we pray. And every heart can say, man.
a man and a man. And I was telling God that, God, I'm just tired. I'm tired of giving everything I got to this ministry and to the people. And all I'm giving back is backlash. All I'm giving back is where y'all go do what you want to do. And then act like you all in with the church. You know, I started this message, and when God gave it to me, I didn't understand why at the beginning. And when he gave it to me, he, he, I, I preached it before, and I couldn't find the message. And so God told me to go back, and I started from the beginning. And when I was talking about it, I couldn't find a message. I was talking to Ella Tomer, and he said, well, you just said you had 510 messages. You ought to just be able to get one. I said, now that'll put me in disobedience because he told me what he wanted me to preach. And so as I started preparing the message, it went different with, you know, from what I was going. But when I started getting the message together, I'm going to show y'all this before I get there. I'll show you how real God is and y'all don't take him to real because y'all ignore him. I started with these two, uh, what y'all call them? Utensils. I want to get it right from y'all because I call them spoons or something, scoops or something, but utensils. And I got them and I said, I'm going to use this for my demonstration. And as I sit over there and I sit over there and I sit over there and I have to tell Miss, you got to take me to the store. And so I sit there and I, I went to Walmart. And the reason why, because God told me this was the bacteria. And these utensils will be used in our kitchen. He said, Terry, you can't use that. Right. Because in there, it's been in there since almost eight years. So it ain't no telling what bacteria is in there. So God told me, you can't use these. See, a lot of people wouldn't be that obedient, that, much, that old, to obey God like that. But I'm just his servant to obey him. And that's why a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all gonna go to hell because y'all won't listen to the obedience of God. But he sent me and told me, I told Mitch, I gotta find the right one. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. But he said, you can't dip some holy into some filter. And every time y'all dip in sin, you have your utensils. And you plan not to get dirty when you dip. Because you don't plan for this to get dirty. So when you come back to church, you want to still act holy. We have a lot of things with our utensils in the church. And he said, get them black. Because when you go into this bacteria, you're going in darkness. You're going in what not knowing what's in there. And so many times we get away from the church and we start doing stuff that we know we shouldn't be doing. And we, dip, we scoop, we do it this way, we do it even spoon way, because we don't want that much sin. We, don't, we, don't, we want to scoop it out. But the only thing you understand, when you dip with this one, you bring spirit back to your house. Because this drop in place you don't want to drop. We're going to see what God had to say. I don't know where they were going. See it right there. But we got a demonstration going to be so greatly, and I know all y'all got to figure it out, but you really don't. No clergy has the right to lower God's standard. No preacher has a right to lower God's standard. And God been telling us in here, in Cornerstone Abundant Life Church, you must be born again. But a lot of people say they're sanctified, but they ain't born again. And when you look back at David and when back in the Old Testament, when David and was being used by God, they was overshadowed by the Spirit. And the Spirit only stayed with them until the overshadowing was over. Whatever they was overshadowed to do, God gave them power to do it. But God gave us power to walk with the Spirit of God 24-7. I know y'all trying to figure out that's okay. Use your brain because you don't use them all the time. He said, he said, you 
shall therefore sanctify yourself. In other words, can't nobody sanctify you but God. And if you ain't born again, you ain't sanctified. Sanctify yourself. A sanctified person do not change when they go somewhere else. If they go out of town, you can take them anywhere in the world. A sanctified person is still sanctified. You're not going to change. You're not going to, in what atmosphere or who, what man you're around, what woman you're around. A sanctified person is sanctified. And I'm going to tell you this before it's over, before I even get started. No matter how much sin I'm around, because I'm sanctified, it'll never get on me. No, I won't get on it. Because I'm sanctified, I'm going to do what the word said. I'm not getting close to stuff that I know that I shouldn't be close to. I don't care if a man, woman, I don't care if a job, I don't care if my children. I'm set apart for the master you. I can't be set apart when I go compromise all kind of stuff. You know God preached the message that we are a church without compromise. Well, how do you go places and compromise? He was talking to me. He was saying, Terry, they just don't understand. And then God is showing us in his word, can I just do them? He come back in, in 1989. See, y'all been in the church, but y'all ain't been trying to be sanctified. He said, in Psalm 119, he said, forever. Oh, Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. So everything Apostle Simon preached to y'all is settled in heaven. And if he said, be born again, that's what he means. And if you ain't born again, that's on you. And then he's come back and said, you must be sanctified. You should sanctify your own self. That means can't none of us in here sanctify you. Nobody can't do it. You have to do it yourself. So ask yourself why you ain't sanctified. And we talking about sheep and goat, uh, uh, sheep, separating the sheep from the goat. Okay, what about separating sanctified from unsanctified? Amen. What about separating born again and ain't born again? A natural birth and a spiritual birth and you ain't got them. God ain't got the way to he come back to separate the church. The church already separated. Let me just explain to you. Right now, God knows in him who sanctified who ain't. He know who born again, who ain't born again. He know it all over the world. Y'all ain't fooling God. God already knew who going to hell. Right in him. He know who don't love him. My son tell me all the time, said these people don't even want to be at the church. Then I get a, a video where they praise dance. How do you let your children pray dance or dance when we don't do that? See, when I go places, I don't understand what I'm really doing. But I'm just, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to see in myself. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to pass this to my children. But for some reason, it's dripping, but I got to sin. I'm the one sinning. But what is this dripping that I don't realize is going to my children? I, but, I, but I'm having such a good time, and, and I understand what, what, what Pastor said, but I got to do me. I'm not worried about what nobody said, how they feel. It's just me. You don't know what bacteria you can back to your house. Your sin is taking you somewhere that you don't know. And it's damaging your house because God just told you last week, you must be born again. But when I don't want to spread it, I kind of just do it my own self because I don't want my children to get bothered, but I'm still want to sin. So what I do, I do it my way. I carry this thing to where I want. Just instead of getting mad, instead of getting messed up. And y'all know what bad about it? I'm dealing with this 
What they call it? Huh? No, the, 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 the virus. I'm dealing with the virus, but it didn't get on me. It didn't get on me, though. Because I'm sanctified. You can go around, it can't get on you. It ain't stronger than God. But ye therefore must sanctify yourself. And I know a lot of times we're trying to sanctify people, give people this and that. He said in Malachi 3 and 6, he said, For I am the Lord, and I change it not. If he told them in Leviticus to be to sanctify themselves, he's telling us the same thing. He's and, and no different each other. He said, For I am the Lord, your God. You shall therefore sanctify yourself, and you should therefore be holy. God is telling us that I won't hold it, and everybody want to do it that way. Listen to what he said. He said, in John 17, 17, he said, sanctify them through the truth. That word is truth. How anybody going to be sanctified ain't got the truth? Everybody watering down God's word, and then we go say, well, it's all right to do this. If everybody want to do prayer there, everybody want to do mind reading, if everybody else want to do it. But when you sanctify, well, I don't think nothing wrong with it. I want a scoop of this. I want to give me a whole lot of it, Arlene. Because what I got planned to do, ain't nobody going to stop me, not Apostle Simon, not nobody. I'm going to do it just how I want to do I don't care what they say at Cornerstone. It's my will. Ain't got nothing to do with y'all. I don't care what you said. Y'all go to work and y'all different people. But God said, you therefore must sanctify yourself. This is what he said. This is how you know how God wanted to be. Because in Leviticus, he would tell him, look at look, he said. He said, I, for I am the Lord your God. You must therefore sanctify yourself. That means mama can't do it. I know y'all like that song, mama song, for me. mama prayed for me, and mama did it. Mama can't get you sanctified, though. He said, sanctify yourself. Now, I ain't, I, lie as you want to. How many of y'all really sanctify? How many of y'all sanctify? We doing it again. We 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 doing it again. We seen we seen and not believe. We seen and not believe. That's okay. That's okay. I'm coming on down your road because I'm gonna find out where you at. He said, "Forever, Lord, Thy word is selling help." So you telling me that all y'all raise y'all hand, everything that you've been preaching, you doing it. You doing it to the to the mark that hey, whatever apostle said, whatever they haven't preached him, this is what I'm doing. This is what it means, sanctify. Let me read it again, because y'all didn't know it sanctified me. He said, sanctify thyself through thy truth. Thy word is true. He said, you can't be sanctified without doing the truth. Now, how many of y'all say y'all sanctified? How many of y'all don't did what the church said do? Not in your own thought pattern, not every now and then, not when you want to. He said, you must sanctify them through truth. And all I've been giving you is truth. But you go, you want to do your own thing. Let me show you the difference in sanctification. You body, soul, and spirit. This is my body. Look pure. That's my soul and spirit. I still look good. I still, like y'all raise up y'all hands. But that's how your soul and spirit is, look. You messed up, y'all. Y'all messed up. I'm telling y'all, going around and believe, people that around you ain't even saved. Ain't even saved when you believe what they say. Because you, you get around them and you got to compromise. The same people you say you're a witness to. Compromise. But the only thing you don't know it drip off to your children. You you turning them out, even though you 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 a devil worship yourself, but you want them to be different. Oh, 
I want y'all to holler, call out everything you want to call out, but you better be sanctified. This is what he said. He said, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is true. He said, that's what you're going to say. All y'all been getting here is the word and calling us down. And then they will make it bad that Jesus went and died and got him got sick and said, God, if it possible, let this cup pass for me. He said, this thing killing me and they want to keep sinning. I died for this and they still sin. I said, Father, it's finished. They still sin in Cornerstone and they got you. I'm going to punish them. I'm going to punish everybody here that have heard my word. God is frustrated with y'all and everybody that don't love him because when they left him, they had plans to change what was did at this church. And, and let me just help y'all. The seven that left, he had 82, and he said, eat of this, this true. Yeah. Yeah. Seven that left. And I'm just warning y'all that getting ready to leave. Glory. All y'all in here that's planning on leaving, even if you ain't here, if you plan on leaving, it ain't what you think. Yeah. All y'all are winning against truth, but he said you must sanctify yourself. You can't sanctify your wife. You can't sanctify your husband. You can't sanctify nobody. Listen to that God said it. He said, for I am the Lord and I change it not. That for you sons of Jacob are not consumed. He said, because of, of what we did. Yeah. Yeah. We come in here, sang in the choir, we ain't even saved. Sang in the choir, holy song, we ain't even holy. Raise our hand and lie. And I'm not going to be a clergy that changed God's down. Because if he tell me forever, O oh Lord, and sell it, if he tell me for I am the Lord and I change it not, then he come back in Hebrews 38 and said, Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forever. He said, I ain't going to change him. But they're trying to change me. He said, in St. John 17, 19, he said, and for they say, this Jesus, I sanctify myself. And now we don't want to be sanctified. We don't, we don't want to be sanctified. And he sanctified himself that you could be sanctified. Let me, all y'all raise up your hand. All y'all talking. Well, let me tell you what sanctified means. It means set apart. That means ain't nothing else handling me. Ain't nothing else doing me. I ain't got no bad thoughts. I love everybody. I'm doing whatever. The word of God and cornerstone said that's what I'm doing. Y'all still sanctified? You still holy? You still born again. We gonna answer for every lie that we told because it's just like in the courtroom. Do you solemnly swear to tell the whole truth? Nothing but the truth. He said, do you Solomon? And look here, we need to go back to the Bible. A lot of y'all ain't studying at home. A lot of y'all ain't reading. A lot of y'all ain't doing nothing. Y'all just going off the air. Saying you sanctify. This is what he said. He said, for their sake, I sanctify myself. That's what Jesus said. For their sake, I walk right before them, God. I sanctify myself. That they also might be sanctified through the truth. He said, he said I did it. Yeah. And the only way you're going to be sanctified is through his word. Y'all yeah. got the word and you still ain't sanctified. You ain't even born again. Oh, I asked the question, what is saved? Yeah. Oh, when did you get saved? When did you start loving God for real? This is what it said. He said sanctification, set apart. How many of y'all set apart that can't nobody use y'all but God? Oh, God. Don't, what the word said, you ain't going against it for your children, you ain't going against it for your girlfriend, you ain't going against it for your wife, your daddy, your uncle, nobody. You ain't going against the word for nobody. How many of y'all that sanctified? I see y'all still on my line. You heard what I said now. Let me explain to y'all again. I said that you won't put nothing before God. Nobody, nothing. Sanctify that only what God said is where I'm at. Ain't nothing coming before God. Nothing. Now don't lie. Don't keep lying. I'm telling you, you know all lies, you're going to hell. He the same yesterday, the day of Elmore. It's settling in heaven. He ain't going to change the word. Y'all can get mad with a pastor all they want. He said, you shall therefore sanctify yourself. He said, you put yourself apart. 
That's what it says. Y'all, 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 y'all. Let me give you the rest of it. Set apart as a declared holy. It said declared holy. That means nothing come between me and God. Nothing. Nobody, no job, no nothing. If I had to, I'd let my job go. Trina get crazy, I had to let Trina go. Y'all ain't there. So it don't make sense to be chaired, you sanctified. I ain't through. I got I to gotta explain this. I got to explain this. I know y'all thought there was an old mess. Ah. Crack of the flop, pop. It ain't that. It ain't that. This is what it said. This is what it said. It said, back to the Bible. It said, declared holy. Now, y'all say y'all second five. Yes, sir. How many of y'all declared holy? Right. Right. I see hands going down. Okay, now, you said, I said sanctified. What's the deal with sanctified and holy? You're lying, that's what I'm telling you. Everybody's coming, oh, I love the church. I love apostles. Don't know about the love of truth, because truth comes up against your flesh. Truth comes up against your desire. And that's why everybody trying to get away. But you therefore must sanctify yourself. Can't nobody sanctify you. No matter how filthy the stuff is around you, the power of God, the sanctification of God, it covers you. It makes you overrule all stuff, all, all. This is what it said. This is what it said. He said, set apart as a declared holy, consecrated. That was sanctification. He means I'm consecrated. I'm always focused on God. I'm always studying. I'm always praying. I'm always finding something else to do with God. How many of y'all consecrated? Always, always before God. Always laying out for God. Everywhere I go, I'm consecrated. I ain't got time for fear. I ain't got time for dirt and stuff. I ain't got time for jokers just want to get around me and talk about the church and, and talk about everybody. And now I know y'all going to talk about me now because I'm talking about praise days. Yeah, I am. You ain't send a text to me, but I'm talking about it. Ain't got time to be playing. I'm 65 years old. Everybody want to play with me. And this thing is real with God. And I, as much as I cry for y'all children, I've been telling y'all, you got to be concerned about your children. You start praying this, next time it's something else. Ah, because I seen them dropping it like it was hot. So they must be know how to dance all the time. Ha, ha, ha. Look what it says. God is talking to us because he wants to know. It said, sanctify. It means to be free from sin. It said, purify yourself. And we've been coming to him designed to stay the same. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. To make someone holy or to make it pure. Y'all hear God say that? Listen to how Jeremiah explained it there. In Jeremiah 1 and 5, he said, Before I was formed in the belly, I knew thee. That was God that was telling me. Terry, before I knew you, I knew you were going to be this person. I knew one of them was going to care about you. I knew they were going to be right. But I knew if I got you, I knew you would sanctify yourself. I knew you would walk in holiness. I knew. I knew you would consecrate yourself. No, don't, don't y'all try to say, well, you did something wrong. See, that's your problem. That's what he died for. See, that's what y'all want. You want to pin some on me. It's just like anybody else. When they want to come to the church, they want to do a background check on me. Well, why are you checking the background? I'm new. Yeah, we want to find something. We want to find something. Well, he ain't did everything, right? He used to be this. I'll tell you, I used to be a hoe. This is what it said right here in Romans 11 and 16. This is how God talking to us because he's telling us, I want y'all to be sanctified. And most of y'all right now ain't even paying no attention to me. That's okay. He going to judge you because you heard it. This is what it said. He said in 11 16, he said, for if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. So that means anything on me, if I get a bump,
So now ask yourself, if your children ain't holy, I don't want that one spreading because I don't want nobody really, I don't, want, I don't want to get nobody else in what I'm doing. So I don't want that dripping spirit. See, we don't know when we get in sin, we take spirit on our children. And then you be wondering why your children be rebutting and coming up against you. It's something you don't bring home. Bacteria have germs. All kinds. Look at slimy look. You'll never think sin look like that. You know why? Because you enjoy it. This could be a good chocolate bar if you only you taste it. Sin don't never make you frown up, Sean. Sin don't, when you doing what you want to do, y'all don't frown when y'all doing it. No, ask me how I know. Because when I ask y'all to get sanctified, you lied and you didn't frown up. We playing in here. We playing in here. God told me, got me feeling all bad and down this morning because here y'all is doing stuff. Listen how he said. He said, before I formed thee, Apostle Silma, I knew thee. And before I came up out of the womb, out of your mama, I sanctified you. I was sanctified to do this. That's why people can't do it. That's why they can't do it. I can't go there and, and then go get another message when I know what God told me. I got to follow what he said. I can't use this when he told me you can't use that bacteria. Oh, <laughs> but that's why I'm a sin killer. I expose sin. <clears throat> and y'all sitting here acting like y'all all, all right. Y'all ain't all right. Y'all ain't all right. Look what he said. He said, he said, Form thee out of the womb, I sanctify thee, and ordain thee to be a prophet unto the nation. Everything I've been spending, I've been coming to pass, and y'all still go against me. Y'all still go against me. When I talk to y'all and I tell you stuff, y'all go against me. We don't see it happen so many times. Telling them this and telling them that. Stay with God. Stay with this. Do this. Do this. Everybody else didn't do it. You do it. Huh. Man, I know Pastor right. I know he right. He ain't never told me wrong. I just love that dog, chocolate scene. And you know what I'm going to get it though? They ain't going to know I did it. Because I'm going to come to church just like I ain't did it. Pastor, where I'm there at? Where I'm in sin at, y'all? Check me out. I got, I'm... Um, God got me, y'all. He's standing up beside me. But I was smart enough to use my utensils. So I didn't get nothing on my hand. That's why we don't tell what's going on in our life. We don't talk about that because it's hidden stuff. Because if you didn't have it hidden, you'll be able to talk about it. Y'all ain't just silent. Y'all ain't just silent. Let me tell all y'all. Best of y'all men. Y'all women, most of y'all ain't silent either. Because you know, let me tell you something. Y'all might be on got rid of Facebook now, but you weren't quiet on Facebook. This is what he said. He said, he said, he said, he said, form out of the womb, I sanctify thee and ordain thee a prophet unto the nation. Now, if he can do it for Jerry, my wife can't do it today. To a man that's born again, to a man that's sanctified himself, to a man that has consecrated himself, why he can't do it? Hey, I'm the one getting up at 1 and 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm the one getting at 12, 30, getting before the Lord. Why he can't do it for me? But why y'all don't believe in him? They ain't believe in Jesus neither. Why y'all? That flesh. That flesh. I don't agree with everything the church says. This is what he said. He's talking to uh, because God wants to know. This is how he said it. He said in Hebrews 10, 14, he said, For by one offering he has perfected forever them that are sanctified. He said, By one, by Jesus' offering. Everybody that's sanctified, 
He has perfected them. Oh, boy, I said, boy, God, you all right. This is what he said. In Galatians 4 and 16, he said, am I therefore become your enemy? Because I tell the truth. I became my own member's enemy. Some of y'all mad with me right now. Because you want to know why is he bringing this stuff in him to talk about us? Because I told him God up to something. And I believe God is separating the church now to expose everybody to know who's who. So when everything start happening, when he bring people in, we'll be on God. You know, he, we ain't going to get rid of you. But, you know, God get rid of you, but you think you're leaving. Let me explain it again, because y'all might then get it on that side. You think you're leaving, and you think you're leaving the church, but you're really leaving God. But it ain't you decide to leave God getting rid of you. Why are you getting rid of them? Because they don't want to be sanctified. They don't want to be born again. Listen how God did, y'all. Look at how God did, y'all. I'm going to show you how powerful God did. He was trying to, I'm, 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 I'm going to help him. I'm going to help him. I'm going to get him right. I'm going to get him right. Many people don't want to be right. They don't want to be right. Listen how God said it. He first told you, he said, the church needs to give Jesus a chance. Right. We wear them shirts all the time on Saturday. We wear them all the week. And we the one that gave him a chance. But God was trying to tell us something. He was trying to tell us something that. He said, y'all need to give him a chance. Y'all do. He ain't going to raise y'all hand up like y'all say. I ain't taking God down. I ain't taking God standing down with nobody. Then he come back and tell you the next thing. He said, the church people are still rejecting the truth. Y'all do it all the time. Y'all do it all the time. But listen what he said. You, ye shall therefore sanctify yourself. I can't do it for you. Can't nobody help do it for you. They can lay hands on you all you want. You got to make the decision, the decision to set yourself apart. When I got saved, When I got saved, it was over. It wasn't no more dipping. It wasn't no more sneaking. It wasn't no more nothing. I wasn't bringing nothing home to my children for my sin. And I don't care how much sin they did. My sons did all kind of stuff. But we live holy. We sanctify the house. We consecrate the house. It can't be, it can't be Rob saying, Sumitra, you not saved. It can't be Rob going out to God and you not going out to God. You'll never get your son sanctified. Can't do it. He said, better together. As one body. Y'all supposed to be one. Don't walk, don't walk way off from him. Walk with him. He needs you. This is what it said. Need to come and say, the spirit of the Lord had departed from the church. He said, the spirit. Know why? Because they're not born again. They're not sanctified. They're not concentrated. They're not purified. So the spirit of God can't operate. Right. Yeah. Then y'all think y'all anointed. The only time y'all get caught up is at uh, practice. The choir. I ain't, I, ain't seen the, I ain't seen the church got caught up. The choir got caught up yet off a of preach word or a song when the service. But every time I come to practice, y'all caught up. Somebody faking. Yes, they were putting blanks on. Man, dig a hole. Jesus. Kill the sin. Put the sin in the hole. God talking to us. He talking to us. He want us to know. He said, he said, Hebrews 2 and 11, he said, for both he that sanctify and they that who are sanctified are all one. He said, ain't no two people. If I'm sanctified, Jesus sanctified. Now I want y'all to get the rest of this. I want y'all to miss this. He said, are one. For which cause he is not ashamed to call them brothers. I'd be ashamed to call some of y'all brothers. I'd be ashamed. Brother or sister, don't y'all try to get out of it. I'd be ashamed. This is what he said. He come back in Leviticus 27 and 8. He said, sanctify yourself therefore 
and be ye holy. For I am the Lord your God, and you shall keep my stature. If you sanctify, you'll be keeping God's word. So that, again, it eliminate a lot of y'all. Sin will never bother you. It don't come out of the jaw and get you dirty. I could be around sin all I want. But because I'm sanctified, it won't. You have to open it. All y'all that get caught up in sin, you have to open it. Stop lying on the devil. Stop lying that, that sin just jumped on you and sin made you do so. You know one thing I know? The devil come to church. He just can't stay. A lot of people come here talking about, man, I just love y'all's church and I'm just, I'm just feel something good about it. They just can't stay. He said, look here. He come back and tell y'all, Cornerstone, you bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do when I come for you? That's what he would tell you then. Y'all ain't got to wait till uh, the rapture come. He was warning you then. You see that mess all made? Yes, That's the same way sin got your soul and spirit. You think you still look all right because everybody telling you, oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so fine. And we, we just feel good about it. God look at and say, oh, you stink in my nostril. And you ain't even mad. You ain't even mad. Tell you you're going to hell. You ain't even mad. This is what he said. He said, and you shall keep my stature and do them. We ain't even finna do that. We ain't even finna have him uh, have nothing to do with that. Thank you, <coughs> uh, Let go. This is what he said. He said, and you shall keep my stature. Uh -huh. All y'all sanctified people that raise up your hand. He said, keep some. He said, you should keep my stature <coughs> and my commandments. Sanctify. Hey! And like y'all don't hear me talk. This is what he said. He said, and do them. He said, every stature I put before you ought to do. He said, even to love your enemy. <coughs> This is what he said. He's talking about. He said, if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. Yeah. All my offspring. Yeah. If my root is holy, yeah. my body shall be holy. Yeah. If my body should be holy, my branches should be. What's y'all problem? Sitting up in him, getting God's word, the, the truth to be holy, and you ain't holy. To be sanctified, and you ain't sanctified. To be consecrated, and you're not. And you done heard it over and over again. I don't blame I'll be quiet too. He come back and said, look, he come back in 1 Peter 1, 5. 15 and 16. He said, but as he which is called you is holy. Pastor, Pastor said, I'm called. He said, y'all called too. Yeah. Call the holiness. Yeah. You can come in with them clean utensils all you want. You're still a sinner. Oh, my, my utensils is white. But your soul and spirit is still damaged. If God were to come back right now, right now, we don't even need to play with it. All y'all just lie. Please repent. Don't, don't leave him not repent. Because let me tell y'all something. God is up to something. And I, I'm telling you what he's up to. I told y'all Friday. You better go back to your first love because some of y'all are missing God. You think you're okay. 
but not according to the scripture. Amen. This is what it said. He's talking to, he, 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 I love him too. He said, he said in, in Hebrews 12 and, and 14, he said, follow peace with all men. Amen. That's a sanctified person. And holiness. Y'all talking about the rapture. That said, a no man shall see the Lord. Huh? Let me read it again. Follow peace with all men and hold me without which no man shall see the Lord. How, where y'all going? Where y'all going? I keep telling y'all, God is a God of love and not on your department. Then y'all get it. You don't even want to be around your own church member. Oh, let me come on, let me come on down here. Uh, we separating the sheep from the goat. We, we doing the separating in the morning. We separating all of them that ain't born again. We separating everything that's sanctified or unsanctified. We separated. This is how God said it. He, he said in Isaiah 55 and 11. He said, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. I keep telling y'all, it ain't going to return unto God void when you doing what you want to do. You coming up against God. He said, keep my commandment. If you love me, he said, then you shall be a light unto the world. And I believe some of y'all sheep got teeth. He said, so shall my word be that go forth out of apostle mouth. It shall not return to me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing where to I sin. So when I preach God's word, it's going to prosper. I don't care what y'all say, it's going to prosper. This is what he said in Colossians 3 and 1 and 2. He, he telling them because he said, you shall therefore sanctify yourself. He said, you, you can't nobody do it for you. What, what, what he said, Pastor, what he said? He said, if ye then be risen with Christ, Seek those things which are above. Y'all ain't seeking nothing from above. Y'all ain't seeking nothing from above. Y'all earthly. Y'all earthly. All y'all want is have stuff. Things. You ain't seeking no spiritual. He said, seek these things that are above. That's why these preachers so calm. Because they're not seeking what is above. Y'all look at the yeah, I'm sanctifying myself. I don't care if everything in him go to hell. I'm sanctifying myself because that's what he said. This is what he said. He said, if then be, you be risen with Christ, seek those things on the board where Christ sitteth at the right hand of God. Set your affection on the things above, not on the things on the earth. Well, I got a new car. God bless him. Why well, just got a six-bedroom house? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Six bedroom. But Lord, when you die, who's gonna have it? This A said, he come back in Leviticus 21 and, and 8. He said, Thou shalt sanctify him therefore. For he offer the bread of thy God. He shall be holy unto thee. For I am the Lord who sanctify ye, you. I'm holy. He said, I'm, I'm holy. If you're going to be with me, you got to be holy. How many of y'all is holy today? Early Sunday morning. How many of y'all holy? Or how many of y'all just saying you're holy? God come and make a separation. He's going to make a separation. You're going to come here, either you're going to become holy, or you're going to become here, and you're going to be a stand out. Everybody's going to be looking white, and you're going to know you black. It's punishing. It's going to be punishing. God trying to do something. Listen to what God said. He trying to do something. Need to come back and ask. Look what he said. In Acts 5 and 32, he said, and we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God has given to them that obey his word. Everybody around telling me they sanctify. Everybody telling me the Holy. Everybody telling me they say saved from what? And y'all in here in the same way. Y'all don't care. 
We give y'all truth. I got the, oh God, I'm telling y'all, I preached this message three times. God said, go back to it. I couldn't find none message. I ain't find them. I told Ellen, I got to start from scratch. And when I started from scratch, I said, God, you show me this. Because he come back and show me this. He said, I will seek you that word, brother, by the mercy of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice. How many of y'all don't present your body a living sacrifice? You said so? He said, holy. A living sacrifice. Why are you living? He said, holy. He said, accepted on God. Not yours, not of you. See, we'll, we'll pray that. We'll act like we, we don't present our body holy, but it's on the God. That's what he said. Yeah, me coming to church this morning, and I got to come to some fooling. You'll sacrifice your children just like they were sacrificing their children back then. You'll sacrifice your children to a praise dance or dancing because you're somewhere out of town out of another church. That's a shame. They didn't want God to bless you. But I was born, I know God born. This is what he said. He's talking to us. He's talking to us. This is how he said it. This is how you, when you sanctify, this is why he tell you, you shall therefore sanctify yourself. Why? Why, Apostle? Why? In 1 Peter 2 and 9, he said, but you are a chosen generation. God chosen cornerstone. And y'all don't want to be sanctified. Y'all don't want to be holy. Y'all don't be, he said, you are a chosen church. You know we different. And y'all don't want to be filthy. Y'all want to bring filth in this church. You don't want to make no sacrifice for God. I just, I want to do what the world do. I, you know, I'm just thinking that I like this and I like that. Well, you don't believe in hell. Got to be. He, I love, I love since I'm sanctified. Why? He said, but Terry, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. What you said? A, a holy nation, a mercurial people. That's what I'm talking about. If ain't nobody saying you be curious, you know something ain't right. If they ain't saying nothing about you be curious on your job. I don't want to look like now another preacher that ain't sanctified. What he said, look what he said. He's talking to, he said, he said, that you should show the for the praise of him. My wife told you, you ought to be able to give God a praise. Y'all ain't got no praise for God. I heard a, a dude that had cancer. Me and my wife were watching the news. I thought it was just power. He had cancer in the brain, stage four. They say he voted to die in six months. Daddy was a doctor, brother was a doctor. They knew he was going to go out of here. Now he, he didn't give God no praise. But he said one thing he learned, that his son was six months, his son six, almost seven. They say he was going to die. Yeah. He left a job out of the office to go outside and do landscape. Yeah. And he said him and his wife made an agreement mm -hmm. that no matter how bad the day is, right. no matter how bad everything around them, yeah. it's a good day. Yeah. Yeah. Ask me to translate that. Don't matter how bad y'all get, don't matter how bad the world get, don't matter how the LBGTQ question mark, comma, uh, prop, whatever, add plus, 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 division, make, it don't make no difference. It's a good day to me. Don't matter if all y'all go to hell, it's a good day to me. You choose to go to hell. They ain't got nothing to do with me. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to pause on let me get you. He said, praise is what I do. In the good and the bad. Yeah. That ain't y'all. That ain't y'all. That's for sanctified people. This is what it said. He said that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into the marvel light. That's why I put my utensil down. What I use in the world, I can't use that no more. You know, there'll be some out preaching to a holy church, a sanctified church. Y'all act like y'all have some life. But I'm preaching y'all because a bunch of y'all still devil. 
A bunch of y'all still doing what you want to do. Look at how God said it. He come back in Ephesians 4, 22 and 24. He said that you should put off concerning the formal conversation of the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful love. He said you ought to get rid of the old man. I told you to come to me. I told you to come and be born again. Y'all like the world. Y'all love. No, y'all don't like the world. Y'all love the world. Y'all like God. Y'all love this filthy world. The church look like the world. He said that you put all concern in the form of conversation of the old man, which is corrupt according to the, the deceitful love, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And you know most of y'all mind, y'all can lie all y'all want about y'all taking fire. I know y'all mind ain't been changed. <laughs> now y'all can raise your hand up and lie to God. <laughs> y'all can lie to God all y'all want. Y'all mind ain't been renewed. If it were renewed, we wouldn't be even talking about this. Make sure you don't see none of the church people. God said, get out of that cookie jar. Oh, I thought I heard something. God was trying to keep you from sinning. He said, you said, I thought I heard something. You know, you put that back on there and something. I thought I heard something. You put your utensil down, but you want to use your hand now. Oh, this is how God said this. Y'all got to listen to him. Ye shall therefore sanctify yourself. Ain't got nothing to do with your name. What y'all feeling? What y'all feeling? This is what he said. Tell me, tell me, tell me, come on with it, Pastor. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind that you put on the new man, which is after God and created in righteousness and true holiness. Have y'all, any of y'all put that man on? Have y'all, have, you, have any of y'all put that man on? I guess the church going, they going blind, crippled or crazy or something. They don't need something. This is how God said it. Can I, just, can I just tap on something to y'all? And I'm reading this to Cornerstone, Abundant Light Church. Just a letter from me, from God. Can I read this to y'all? Tell me to read it like y'all mean it. In Ezekiel 33 and uh, 31, he said, And they come unto thee as the people coming. And they set before thee as my people. And they hear thy word but they will not do them. For with their mouth, they show much love, but their heart going after covenant. That's y'all. Y'all coming in, act like y'all God people. Y'all act like y'all a body of believers. But you're going after covenant. You ain't spending no time with God. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't doing nothing but serving yourself. This is what he said. He come back and tell her, he said, he said, and in Romans 11 and 20 and 21, he said, well, because of the unbelief, they were broken off. He said, because of their unbelief, they were broken off. You ain't got to wait till the rest. That was a separation. Everything I preach to y'all that y'all don't believe, everything I tell y'all that God is again, ain't no way. I don't care where I go. If my church is against praise dancing, my church ain't dancing nowhere. I don't care what, what's going on at the church. I don't care what's going on. That's an insult. That's an insult to me. It's an insult. He said, well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. And thou standing by faith, but not high-minded, but fear. For if God spare not the natural branches, take heed, lest he also spare not thee. He said if he spare not the natural branches, 
When they break off of it, he ain't going to spare y'all need. God ain't playing. We act like God playing. We want God to be a playboy. He ain't playing. He the real deal. And he ain't got nothing to do with Holyfield. He telling this. And then God told you this. He said, look, nevertheless, I have somewhere to get cornerstone. Because thou have left your first love. Y'all don't left God. Y'all ain't studying. This is what he said. He said, be, he said, but as he which has called you is holy. So be holy in all manner of conversation. He said, be holy in all your lifestyle. And some of y'all just hold that church. And that ain't really holy. That might be a hole in you. Hole in you. We sent him in a devastating to God that here Jesus is finna die and go to death for us in Gethsemane. And he said, this thing hurt me so much. This sin devil hurt me so much. Oh, God, if it's possible, you can let this cup pass. He said, but nevertheless, thy will be done. Rob, I said to you today, bro, said nevertheless, let God's will be done. Ain't nothing you can do about the rest of it. But you got to tell God, nevertheless, I'm going on with you. That's what I tell him. The whole church, look, all y'all can leave. It's going to be a nevertheless. I can't do it. I, I can't turn on God. I can't, I, can't, I can't turn on him. This is what he said. He said, he said sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is true. He, he, he tell him, he's the thing about it. He said, as thou hast sent me into the world, he said, even so have I also see, sent them into the world. And for their sake, I sanctify myself. This Jesus, he started telling them, if Jesus sanctified himself, what y'all think he want from y'all? He said, he said, the only way you're going to sanctify, you got to get this truth from Cornerstone. And we ain't trying to make nobody feel good with no fooling. Everybody talking about, well, what's we, wrong with praise dancing? Well, David in practice. All right. All right. This is what he said. He come on. He said, and for their sake, I sanctified myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth. This is what the 20 verse said. He said, neither pray for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through thy word. That's me. He said, he said, that person right there, Paul Sim, he believed me, man. He, 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 he really believed me. And that's why God is telling us, y'all got to believe him. You can't, you can't, you can't play with it. You can't fum around with it and make somebody. This is what 2 Timothy 2 and 21 said. If a man therefore purge himself yeah. from these, yeah. purge himself from sin. Purge himself of not loving. Purge him. Just, just purge him. He said, he shall be a vessel of honor. How many vessels of honor we got? Oh, Have you purged yourself? Have you purged yourself from them things that wrong? Them, them bad thoughts. Being around bad conversation. Agreeing. Look, how do anybody agree with lesbian, dyke, bull dyke, a homemonger, whatever you want to call them? How do anybody agree with them? Then tell me they love God or they believe God, but then God is against it, but you agree with it. You don't love God. You don't love God. You, you love that LBGTG, whatever, because that's what your desires would be. Sanctified, set apart. As a declared holy, consecrated. He's telling us this. He said, if a man therefore purge himself from thee, he shall be a vessel of honor. Sanctified. Yeah. And meet for the master you. Ain't for everybody. And prepare unto every good word. He said, that's what I'm talking about. Boy, that boy, God said something right there. Listen to what 1 Corinthians 6 and 11 said. He says, and such were some of you. But you are washed, but you are sanctified. But you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Yeah. Say that's the only way it's going to happen. Amen. It ain't happen no other way. Y'all see that? God is trying to tell us something. Y'all missing it. He come back in Romans 6 and, and 6. He said, knowing this, that the old man is crucified with him. That the body of sin 
might be the scroll, that henceforth we should not serve sin. Man, I'm sanctified. I don't care what Paul said. But well, let me just tell you what this says. This will tell you to sanctify. In Matthew 4 and 4, it said, But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but every word. Now, y'all sanctified. Is you living by every word? Is y'all living by every word? Everybody said it's sanctified. The whole church all the most ought to be repented. You don't, don't y'all leave here. Don't y'all play with this. Don't y'all leave him acting like you sanctified when God said, "Ye therefore must sanctify yourself. That's what that means. You can sit up here and act like you sanctified and leave him. I told you God up to some. And y'all just had a Sunday school lesson. He said, separating the sheep from the goat. This is separation right here. This is what he said. Y'all tell me, come on with it. He said, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out the mouth of God. This coming to the mouth of God. Now, this is what Proverbs 22 and 28 said. It said, remove not the ancient lamb more, which thy father has said. He said, don't change this stuff what the father already said. Don't change how God said, let me order your step. Don't change that, all the stuff God said. Because you got some desire. This is what he said. He come back in Proverbs 23, 12, and 14. He said, apply thy heart unto instruction, and thy ears unto words of knowledge. Withhold not correction from the child. <laughs> that was already my mess. Hold not correction from the child. Because when you start letting them do something wrong, they're going to want to do everything wrong. And they're going to say, Mama, you let her do that? Well, the church don't want you to do that. Mama, you let her do that. The church don't let you do that neither. Right. Let me read that again. Let me read that again. Cause I, 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 I don't know why God took me the way, but he took me the way. Apply our heart unto instruction and our ears unto the word of knowledge. Withhold not correction from the child. For if thou beat him with the rod, he shall not die. He said, thou shall beat him with the rod and shall deliver his soul from hell. I just don't believe it with my child. Well, daddy, you ain't saved. I just don't believe it with my child. Well, that's up to you. That's up to you. That's up to you. Let me come on with it. Let me come on with it. He said, and he said, he said, for I am the Lord your God. Ye shall therefore sanctify yourself, and you shall be holy. I am holy, neither shall you defile yourself with any manner of creepy thing that creep upon earth. For I am the Lord that bring you up out of the land of Egypt to be your God. You shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. To make a difference between Unclean and clean. He said, I want you to make a difference. Can I just come on with it? Y'all ain't ready to go yet, is it? Huh? This is what it said in 1 Peter 3 and 15. He said, but sanctify the Lord your God. Huh? Sanctify the Lord God in your heart. What? He said, you want to be set apart in your heart? He said, you know that way y'all say y'all fall in love with him, so he had to use your heart. Y'all, y'all, y'all said, I love at first sight. So that was in your heart. No, that was in your mind. That's why you can't fall in love with God because you ain't fell in love with God in your mind. That's what he said. He said, but sanctify the Lord God in your heart and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. So always be ready to give an answer. Y'all want me to come on with it? In John 10 and 36, he said, Say ye of him whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world, huh? Thou blasphemous, because I say I am the Son of God. If I tell people I'm the Son of God, they swear I'm blasphemous. But he said, many as believe in me, I get a power to be the sons of God. That's what the word says. 
Ye shall therefore sanctify yourself. For everybody that listen under my voice, well, are you sanctified or are you just going to church? He told her, you must be born again. And Ella, uh, Ella Lindsay told her, your thought is not God's thought. Now, I don't get you his thoughts because it's written. Y'all know I preach that message. It is written. Now, I'm giving you what's written. This is what he come back and said in John 1 and 13 and 14. He said, which was born, not of blood, not of the will of the flesh, not of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace. Boy, God, you awesome. Y'all hear God talking? Do y'all really hear God? Well, let me finish this. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, therefore, if any man be in Christ, all things, Let me just give you that one right here. First Thessalonians 5, 18 and 23. He said, in everything, give thanks. This sanctified people. This born again people. This holy people. He said, in everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Why ain't God bad? Why I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't put that thing together. I couldn't put that again. Let me read again, because y'all, y'all don't read the Bible. Y'all, y'all don't go back and study. Y'all don't go back and listen to the message. Y'all don't do that, because this other stuff got your attention. You, you got too many other stuff to watch on YouTube, Facebook, and all that stuff, and your movies and stuff like that. You ain't got time. But listen how God said this. He talking to me. He said, in everything, give thanks, Terry, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit. Right. Now, whatever the spirit is telling you, don't quench it. Right. That's what y'all be sending them to do. Quenching the spirit while the spirit talking to you. It ain't, it ain't for me. It ain't for me. You know y'all be doing your little hunch in your shoulder. That ain't for me. Every time I come to church, that's all they on. They always talk about sin. Well, get out of it. Put your utensils down. Put your body down that you use. Y'all don't look happy. But I hope everything I said has sent you straight to hell. Because me, God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost ain't happening either with y'all. This is what he said. Let me go back. He said, quiz not the spirit. Despise not prophecy. Prophesy. He said, the, the, the side not me telling you that some of y'all finna leave. Y'all quiet to take a vacation for a while and get y'all self together. And this is what he said. 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 He said, he said, in the 21st verse, he said, prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Y'all hear God. He said, hold that which is good. Y'all better hold on to possible. Y'all better hold on to possible. Ain't no more. Ain't no more like this. Okay, you searched all over. Couldn't find nobody. You look high and low. You still couldn't find nobody. You might find somebody to say what you want, but you ain't gonna find somebody to say what you need. You ain't got to say nothing. This is what he said right here. He, he talking to, he said, quit not the spirit, despite not prophecy, prophesying. He said, prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Abstain from the uh, abstain from all appearance of evil. Sanctified people, he said, abstain from all appearance if it look evil. Y'all forgot the one that said, "Don't let your good be evil spoken." But this is this this different. This one is different. If it look evil. A sanctified person will get away from it. He said, and the very God of peace sanctify you whole. 
So your hands shouldn't be unholy. Your eyes shouldn't be unholy. Your ears. My feet. And I pray God. Your whole spirit. And soul and body. Be preserved blameless. Until the coming. Of the Lord. Where the separation y'all thought was going to be. Y'all heard what that just said? How did that get there for the Sunday school lesson? Do y'all, let me read that again, because y'all didn't get that. Y'all didn't get that. In everything, you think that God don't let you for. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning y'all. He put this in him for a cornerstone. He put this in him that somebody will preach the truth that you can be sanctified through the truth. This is what he said. He said concerning you. He said quiz not the spirit. Despise not the prophesying. He said prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. And the very God of peace sanctify you whole. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved, blameless, unto the coming of our Lord. He said, I want you blameless until you're coming of the Lord. He said, he's looking for a church without a spot or any wrinkle. Y'all didn't think, y'all didn't think I had it. In John 15 and 3, he said, now you are clean through the word which I have spoken to you. But as I close, as I pull in the dark, Y'all didn't see the devil lead here. All the spirit don't left y'all. One thing they do, when they get you set up, they get out of him. I told you the devil can come in here with you, but he can't stay. He don't got out of him. You see how subtle y'all don't got? He don't, he don't got out of him. He don't left you by yourself. He said, well, man, you got to take that woman by yourself. That man anointed. He going to score every yoke in him. But this is what God coming for. This is what God coming for. I just read it. He said, that he might sanctify and clean it with the washing of the water by the word. That he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without, without. Y'all ain't y'all scared to say it. What's wrong with y'all? Well, the church went on the tour. No clergy has a right to lower God's standard, to make stuff that God said he's against. They making it all right. Luke said it real good in 12 and 40. He said, be ye therefore ready also for the Son of Man coming at an hour when you think not. Amen. You don't know it coming. This might, this might be some of y'all last time in church. It may be my last time, I don't know. Y'all can sing? Y'all scared to sing? It may be your last, y'all scared to sing? Y'all ain't scared to sing it is. Come on, choir. Come on, Cam, Cam, y'all scared. Ain't nobody repeating this. Come on, i through. This may be my last time. This may be my last time. This may be my last time. It may be my last time. I don't know. 